Well, this week will bring country music lovers from all around the world to Nashville for CMA Fest. But all year long, tourism companies are seeing the benefits of having Nashville as an it city. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson has details on the growing tourism industry when it comes to trolley tours. On any typical weekend, Broadway will be filled with people from all around the country wanting the honky tonk experience. But this week is what everyone prepares for, CMA Fest. All right, guys, well, we are going to go ahead and get underway. Old Town Trolley Tours hasn't even been giving tours for a full year yet, but they've seen the benefits of being in Nashville. And their orange and green trolleys are becoming one of the top picks for exploring Nashville. It's right up here. You'll see the horse out front. That's the Wild Horse Saloon. The Hop On Hop Off Trolley Company bought prime real estate last year at 2nd and Broadway to base their operations out of. And just this past week, the company spent another $3 million to purchase a building just outside of downtown to house their trolleys, solidifying their place in a town that's booming. So we thought that would be a convenient way to see the whole city. So you can see everything that you might not know was here. This is Sean Zito and Bobby Melton's first visit to Nashville, and like many other tourists, they found the best way to see Nashville is by hitching a ride. Now you see this city park right here. This is going to be a big part of the CMA Fest. While taxis and rideshare programs get you from A to B, they don't provide the insight these trained drivers do. Just all the history that's here, I didn't know about that, like the prohibition stuff and all that. The first prohibition laws on the books were in 1838. They stayed on the books until 1848. According to the CEO of the company, Nashville is one of their hottest locations and with CMA Fest and all of the summer music festivals, they don't see any sign of business slowing down. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Thank you. In Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.